Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Pisces. Hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. Thanks so much for dropping in everyone and thank you for all your likes, your subscribes and your comments. I really appreciate it. All right, here we go. There we are. Wow, Pisces, what's happening? You are feeling loved up. You are feeling a traditional kind of love. Yes, you are. You're thinking about commitment. You're ready to rock. Holy smokes. What are you up to? And yeah, so there's something here with the Ten of Swords. You want to put an end. Some of you maybe, maybe you're not feeling the love with someone and you want to put an end to something. Let's see. Or you want to commit to someone and put an end to a painful situation. Ooh, let's see what's like. This is love. This is love. This is feeling emotional, being in control of your emotions. Maybe traditionally you are that way. You may be thinking about your tra traditions, your beliefs, your behaviors. Uh, I, I feel like you're thinking about putting an end to a painful situation to do with the past. You're thinking of reconciling with someone. You've got some sweet feelings, sweet memories. There's some kind of conflict to do with commitment, your beliefs, your traditions. You may be feeling like there's no hope. Ooh, yeah, there's, we got someone here who is charging right at you here. Somebody may have been a little angry, charged at you, someone with some fighting words here. There's some, going to be some kind of conflict, I feel. There's some emotional conflict. You may be feeling, somebody may have said something to you. They may have rushed in, you know. I feel like there's, you might be feeling there's a need to fight, say something. If you've got Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart, or pardon me, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Scorpio energy. But I feel like there's someone here who rushed towards you with fighting words. They said something and you're conflicted. Something to do that happened in the past. You want to put an end to this, okay? There was some kind of a painful ending to do with this. Somebody rushed in and out, created conflict. There was possibly some fighting, uh, a lot of sadness. Maybe there's some regret, some remorse to do with this. Someone... Yeah, there's someone feels that like there's no hope here. Someone's feeling lonely, missing somebody, definitely missing somebody. Yeah, wanting some success. So I feel like somebody left someone out in the cold because somebody was getting attention. Somebody may have been acting a little arrogant. Uh, I feel like you want success. You want to move forward towards this person, but you feel like there's not a lot of hope because maybe you ghosted them. They ghosted you after this. Something happened here that created this painful ending to do with somebody coming in with fighting words. Yeah, it's not always positive, you know. Somebody was in and out. Someone regrets maybe being that way, being in and out, creating some conflict. Okay, yeah. All right, Pisces. Yes, and there's we have the Eight of Swords. So you're trapped in your head. Uh, with whatever it is that happened. You want to be set free from this. Uh, I feel like you want success. You want to move forward. Uh, you've been trapped in this energy, trapped in your head regarding this, and you can't stop thinking about it. So something needs to resolve. You want to put an end to this situation to do with your beliefs, your traditions. Maybe you're not sure what to believe, why things ended, or what happened. Definitely reminiscing. You're thinking a lot about it. You have sweet memories, though. You're missing somebody. You may have ghosted them and set yourself free, and now you feel trapped in your head about it, or vice versa. So let's see what's going on with the King of Cups. Yeah, you're feeling emotionally available, but you have your emotions under control. That's nice. There we go. Yeah, so yeah, you're you're emotionally available. You're thinking about your happily ever after here. You're ready to put all the cups out there. Yeah, traditionally you maybe were somebody who kept your feelings hidden, but I think you're something here that you're putting to an end. I feel it's causing you pain. Something has caused a painful ending. You want to say goodbye. Some of you are thinking about commitment, maybe wanting to say goodbye to being single. <laughs> or you're saying goodbye to your painful traditions, beliefs, habits. All right. Some of you could be having to <sighs> It's just, it's sort of a not sure what to believe, though. There's some kind of mental, this is emotional conflict. You're, you're really feeling emotional, and it's usually regret, remorse, or somebody didn't take someone else's feelings into consideration here is generally how I see it. And there may even be some shame, okay, to do with this. 
Somebody rushed in and out. There was fighting words, but wow. All right, let's see. Hierophant. There we go. Yeah, so I feel like there's something you want to put behind to do with your beliefs, traditions. Uh, there's something you want to give up on and let go of here. Yeah, it's whatever it is, however you believe something to be, or maybe your past habits of rushing in and out of relationships. Yeah, you're trying to gain the strength and the confidence here. Okay, but you feel like there's no hope. You feel like, you know, it's a hopeless case. Uh, it might be over. Okay, so you're trying to manifest a new beginning. So you want to you want to put an end to this. You really do. You feel bad, I feel. Sense of regret and loss for not being stronger, having stronger values. Uh, there's moral values to do with traditions, your beliefs. Okay, how you conduct yourself. Somebody maybe didn't follow the status quo. All right, so we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, so somebody is thinking about somebody reminiscing, pondering a situation. Somebody acted in the past like they didn't care, okay? Um, yeah, so it could be you. could be this other person. Maybe somebody was acting like they didn't care. But I feel like you're thinking about something here, pondering, thinking how, to, how you could possibly make this right. Yeah, you're trapped in your head. Uh, you want some clarity. You really want a new beginning. You, know, you want uh, everything out in the open. You want to clear some things up to get some this. Yeah, you're ready to come in and fight. I feel like you want to fight for something. Um, yeah, you really, you want to expose something. I feel there's some Leo energy here. Possibly you may have Leo in your chart. Maybe you were over controlling bearing. I feel like you're very, <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's you. Like there's something here that you're regretting or you've got a Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. It could be somebody else, all right, with this feeling loved up towards you. So please flip this energy, all right, if it's not you. It's perfectly fine to flip energy. But yeah, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. I'm feeling strong, Leo. You may have that in your chart or this person may be coming in. They may have water in their chart or they're just feeling loved up. Whatever it is that happened, there's somebody wanting a new beginning, wanting to come in and take control and fight for a situation. But kind of feeling like it may, you know, may not be possible because of what this other person said. Or maybe you or the other person was in and out. Someone feels... Like they didn't take someone else's feelings into consideration. Uh, you're maybe a little bit afraid to look at these cups, to look at exactly what happened. Uh, as you're digging into the past, it's you're not liking this or vice versa. So tell me about this Five of Cups energy. What's going on with the Five of Cups? What's going on with this Five of Cups? Just one, please, on the Five of Cups. Why is this here? What happened with this Five of Cups? All right, yeah, you want to set yourself free from this, okay? You do, look at that, confirmation, and put an end to this cycle. So I feel like you feel as maybe some shame for being arrogant, being too in control. You may want to express something, okay? You're thinking about this, you're trapped in your head about this, or you've been trapped in this energy, and you want to be free of it. You want to put an end to this. You want things to move in your favor. So I feel like you want to come and, like, Put more attention into moving things forward so that things go in your favor. But yeah, you want to be free of this feeling. You want, yeah, you want to move forward with somebody who's got everything that you want here. The Empress, I feel as though there's somebody that you see as this wheel of fortune. Yeah, you've been trying to set yourself free, but... You're trapped in your head with whatever it is this person said. They may be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. we got Libra and Taurus energy, Empress. There's a lot of abundance here. I, I feel as though you feel like there's no hope, though, right? Like you feel like you didn't take someone's feelings into consideration or vice versa. And I feel as though maybe you were getting attention from other people and it created a lot of problems. You may regret that, maybe not giving more attention to this person coming, fighting a little harder instead of coming in and out. Yeah, you were possibly coming towards someone just for attention, being a little arrogant or someone was and it ended things. Someone held themselves in high regard here. So you're looking at all these details. You're realizing you don't want to let go of this person. So I feel like you want to come back in or right you want to come back in and kind of fight for this person but maybe you're afraid there's going to be a fight right because you know the knight of wands can be 
you know, it carries a sword. So let's have a boo. What's this Knight of Wands up to? Yeah, somebody's feeling guarded, defensive. Somebody can't see a way forward. Yeah, maybe it's you. Maybe it's this other person. Yeah, something needs to move. Yeah, you want to come back around to someone, but you can't seem to see a way forward because you're worried they're going to be like this. Yeah, they may be the one that, you know, exposed uh, that fight in spirit. Somebody's very strong here, I can tell you that. Somebody's going to um, express their strength, their will to fight. Somebody definitely wants a new beginning and wants to fight you want to hold on i feel like it's you wanting to hold on to this and if it's not it's them and they're just coming in like this or maybe you regret you maybe you offer you've seen this person as your happily ever after you offered them love but uh, they wouldn't commit okay so Whew. yeah so i yeah so i feel like you want a reconciliation you want to come back around you're you're unsure what will happen how things will evolve, but I feel like maybe you've changed, you're changing direction, you want to change your ways, or this person is, but there's something happening here, indecisive to do with change, to do with being able to change the situation, it's sort of like reversing time, what happened in the past, so we have a connection, two people here, two of cups energy, reminiscing missing somebody that's wrapped all the way around here yeah you might be watching this person you may want to clear some things up about the past somebody never told someone the whole truth somebody's not so sure yeah there's somebody got blocked or somebody was rejected maybe you you didn't tell this person the whole truth your maybe your emotions were blocked because i feel like somebody's emotions are definitely not blocked now you may see this person as you're happily at or after too or vice versa so you guys will have to tell me who's who because once again i'm really in this energy of uh we're coming out of this retrograde and i feel like there's this really bizarre energy out there right now where everybody's making a lot of decisions there's a lot of stuff coming to a head so yeah so here we have somebody who may have stood up and said something rather blunt somebody said something not that they aren't accepting okay somebody got rejected I feel like your person or you, somebody's not accepting any offers. Yeah, somebody's not going to accept someone who doesn't tell the whole truth because of what happened in the past. And I feel as though there's also a rejection to anybody who comes in immature, anybody who wants to just come rushing in and out for the passion. Okay, that's the energy I'm feeling. So, yeah, there's a need to move away from this energy uh, to take everything that's been learned and move away and make peace with this situation. Yeah, to put an end to it. I actually feel, Pisces, that your person may have somebody else that's come back around that they had a connection with from the past before. But I feel like this person's not being very clear with them. So I think they're going to reject them. I don't think this person's being very clear. So they're going to reject this person because they're immature. They're going to move away from that person. Okay. Yeah, this person, they're leaving this person out in the cold. There's some kind of ending. It could be a Scorpio. So, yeah, we got a couple people here, Pisces. So I feel, and it could be you as well. Maybe you're ending things with a Scorpio. You're ghosting them or they've left you out in the cold. But I feel like somebody is moving away. Somebody's avoiding a disaster with someone who's immature. They're not accepting someone. So this is what could be going on with the person that you're interested in. And you may see this person as you're, you may be ready now, all right, for that happily ever after, but feel like you didn't want to commit before, you didn't play by the rules, okay, you're wondering if this can all be put behind you, you may be wanting to leave behind your old beliefs and traditions because they don't serve you, this is someone who's looking back at all the hard work it was to uh, not surrender to a commitment, right, yeah, so, I find this interesting, Yes, yeah, so I feel like somebody is ghosting. There's something coming to an end. There's some kind of a transformation. Uh, I feel like your person that you're interested in, this one that you're thinking about, I feel as though they're, they're setting themselves free. They're putting an end to this. And it could very well be a Scorpio who may have been trying to come in and out, somebody who was immature, because they're not accepting them. There's a re Someone's being rejected here. Now, this may be a similar situation as to what happened with you and your person. 
Okay, there may somebody may have been rejected. This may have nothing to do with you, but yeah, there's a cycle ending and a new one beginning. Something began, it didn't last very long. I feel like your person or you are moving away, avoiding a disaster and coming to an end. Yeah, someone's becoming very clear. It's time to end something. Okay, somebody is becoming clear. It's time to end something, to transform it. Yeah, holding themselves in high regard. Something needs to be purged and healed. Yeah, to do with the foundation, the commitment. You're becoming clear. Maybe this is you trying to become clear. We have some Aquarius energy here too. Somebody who uh, needs to heal something. They need to purge and let go of something uh, to transform and become clear. To do with commitment, marriage, uh, a house, a home, a foundation. But yeah, I think your person setting themselves free. Um, yeah, so, yeah, someone's holding themselves in high regard there. Somebody's becoming single. So I feel as though, <laughs> wow, Pisces, this is crazy. We got this Gemini Virgo energy here as well. So some, there's been a painful ending here. Something is done. Somebody's trying to manifest a way to fix whatever it is that happened. And I feel this is you, or you've got a person who has water energy, Okay. Oh, these readings with so many people. I'm always telling people, go out and meet lots of people, and then this is what I get. <laughs> all these people. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. It's all good. Keep it coming, you guys. Keep it coming. Keep meeting lots of people till you find that one. Yeah, so somebody is uh, hoping to get a wish come true. They want to get out of this energy of being trapped in situations where it's to be careful what you wish for. Okay and uh, putting an end to pain so somebody wants to get their wish granted to put an end to a situation Pisces I feel like it's you I feel like you feel like there's no hope you're trying to gain the strength and the confidence to come and manifest a new beginning you want to fix something here okay or maybe you and your person are both manifesting each other you both could be leaving someone behind this could be you leaving something behind avoiding a disaster or them but it's coming back around to somebody else from the past i feel like your person's had someone else come back around but they're moving away this person's immature they're avoiding a disaster it's done they're holding themselves in high regard they're purging this yeah there's a there's something that needs healing i feel like your person's becoming very clear that they need to release this person and put an end to it forever because I don't feel like there's a hope for a solid foundation with this person. They, they feel that way. So they are single, if you're curious. Yeah, and it could be you as well. So it does look like it. Yeah, this person holds himself in high regard. You see this person is just right. You want to put some attention into this. We got some cancer energy. They may have cancer in their chart. They're taken off in another direction. But I feel like you're still trapped in this energy with this person, even though this has gone on in between. Maybe that you guys were, um, I see this past energy here, reminiscing, thinking about each other, trapped, you've been trapped in each other's energy even through this. So someone offered someone a cup, kept the rest of themselves. Uh, there's a need to, you know, there's this, be careful what you wish for, but it needs to come to an end. Uh, you're hoping that this painful situation will end. Yeah, you want to put some work into love now. You're ready to work on your love life. Uh, it has to do with your beliefs and traditions, all right? Uh, looking back, um, your past beliefs and traditions haven't been serving you. You're ready to give up, give that up. Some of you may be giving up another relationship, maybe even thinking of divorcing somebody, okay? Yeah, some of you are maybe getting a divorce, okay? Becoming single, taking your power, loading up that loading up that moving van and off you go <laughs> all right going back to someone else putting some work into your love life ending something yeah wow Whew. there's love here there's just one person in this card there's one person that you love that you want to put the work into you want to end all this past energy very nice pisces so whatever this is you guys will have to let me know. Pisces. It's the outcome of this situation for Pisces. Indecision. Yeah. So there's some indecision. Yeah. Because somebody's somebody's not sure. They can't see a way forward. Okay. You're just having a hard time seeing a way forward. You want to come back around to this person. You're hoping things will evolve. That you can reconnect. 
with this person from the past. But like I said, uh, maybe in the past you didn't tell this person the whole truth, how you felt. Maybe somebody was um, rejected. There may have been some words here. All right, this person may have moved away from you. But I feel like they've just gone through that again with someone else. Like, But I feel that they rejected the other person. Okay, or you're rejecting someone else to go back to this other person. Holy smokes, we got... Let's see what's the outcome. One more outcome card for Pisces. I don't want the chakra cards. We, it's the last thing you guys need to hear right now, right? <laughs> there we go. Action. Yeah. So somebody's indecisive, but there's. it's time to take action is what it's saying. Now's the time to take action because this person's moving forward. Now they're going to go put some work into their love life and you may be wanting to work actually start working on your love life so it's going to take some work uh, to bring the two of you back together i can tell you that some of you just want to i i feel like your person just isn't putting a lot of work into love too they're sort of you know it's always to be careful what you wish for but yeah you're yin and yang you want to connect with this person there's someone here you see just right for you you see this person is just right. You want to balance this out. You see this person as everything you want. You want to put more attention into this. Yeah, they're definitely setting themselves free. They may be divorcing somebody too. So they're packing up that, like I said, the moving van and off they go. End of story. Yeah, so you got some thinking to do. You're trying to get some clarity. There may be somebody else thinking about your person too. All right, so I'm telling you, it's saying to take action. Take action here. Go find that person who's the good fit, that person that's, you know, the yin to your yang. And uh, heal that situation, okay? I, I feel like now's the time. If not, this person may put an end to all of this, okay? And be getting a wish granted by putting an end to something that doesn't work and working on their love life too. So I don't think they're going to stay single for long by the looks of it. Yeah, door to value. This person values themselves and you value them. And that's what you need to do is you need to show this person you value them and vice versa. Wow, you guys. <laughs> I need to give you one more. I get prompted sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Door to value. You need to value each other. You need to be more caring and value this connection. Okay. So I feel like this person had felt that way about you. And I feel like the two of you coming together. And if you work on this, there could be a beautiful, this could be a very beautiful uh, love story. All right. Take care of yourselves. I wish you guys the best. Please let me know what's going on here. The readings have been crazy. They boggle my mind this week. Bye for now.